Hello North Rye Church, this is a video message to you, you, you guys. Um, I did, I did uh, enjoy this morning, uh, I came to your church uh, this morning because Steve, Steve, um, Steve and, um, well, well, we know Steve and, um, uh, talk me in into it now we're gonna i google search yesterday who who started the sinner's prayer and um any anyway um yeah because um that's from my jc2 channel i'm recording for from my um um the bill abc TV uh, channel, and uh, anyway, uh, you you have some good f findings, and see, I go and investigate. I'm against the sinner's prayer, and I gave my life uh, to Jesus so many hundred times over twenty years because the doubt it didn't save me. It never stopped the doubt. When I trusted in his shed blood, I have no more doubt. So I preached the gospel, um, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4, which is Paul's gospel and always the King James uh, version. Um, and, and also Islam has a sinner's prayer. So we'll play this video. North Rye Church. Okay, guys. Um, who started the sinner's prayer? I just wanted to do a Google search. This is me from um, last night. It says here, others believe it originated in the late uh, 18th century re revival uh, movement. However, Paul Harrison Chitwood, in his uh, doc trial of the history of the sinner's prayer, provides strong evidence that the sinner's prayer originated uh, in the early 12th century. Uh, I wouldn't so have a clue. Probably, probably 1100, um, around the early okay, 12th we'll century. Okay, we'll go to the wiki first. And I'm against the sinner's prayer. And before I go on, uh, Peter um, said to, to today at North Rye Church that you got to rightly d divide, right? And people can wrongly divide as well. So you have to have to compare scripture w with scripture. Jesus saves, um, not our asking, and 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 that was the problem for for me for for many years. But anyway, we go through all this. I'm just trying to find out where it started. If I can't stand Billy Graham. No, I don't. Because he he compromises. That's the problem. Same with Franklin Graham. He compromises.
I like to look things I up. Yep, I do. I hate the sinner's prayer. I don't like it anymore. I believe it's not biblical, but I just want to see what other people are saying. So this is going to be a long video, North Rye Church. I'll go through the comments from Ed um, once this uh, this video here um, I finish pl playing it. And also, also I want to correct Peter and, and, and other people from the North Rye Church. Um, in the, in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, um, from the start of those four um, Gospels, Right, those books, or well, whatever you, you want to c c call it, until Jesus uh, 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 dies. That's still Old Testament. From when Jesus died on the cross, that's when the New Testament starts. Hebrew Hebrews says uh, that that the uh, death of the testator. Uh, Start of the New Testament, uh, yeah. Anyway, I could continue playing. And and I'm all about the truth, and Jesus is the truth. Mm, it's interesting. And I enjoy making uh, videos. And, and I enjoy telling people what the gospel is and, and I uh, enjoy uh, preaching the uh, I'm against the sinner's prayer anyway uh, blood of Jesus And nowhere in the Bible it says, give your life to Jesus, see, right. either. So, I, I'm totally against the sinner's prayer. Sinner's prayer probably evolved in some form or another in the early days of the Protestant Reformation movement as a um, misguided reaction against the Roman Catholic dogma. Right. I'll have to find out from the Lord one day when the sinner's prayer started. Okay, thank you. But according to Google, it's um, it's early part of the twelfth century. Uh, let's go through the co comments. Uh, 
or I just go for free ads. Um, and I learn a lot in North Right Church. Edward uh, PF123, uh, we, we just said for, for Feninja. Um, this is a form of uh, uh, if from one of the articles mentioned um, the the evidence uh, in the uh, word of God that call upon the Lord means admit you are a lost sinner and on your way to hell and ask God or Jesus to save you um, is as completely absent as are the bib biblical examples of Christ or the s saints uh, leading the lost in in sinners' prayer, or or g commanding them to a prayer uh, in order to obtain justification, um, as an example of of the instance uh, of calling on the Lord in Scripture listed below demonstrates other sorts of prayer uh, s such as uh, praying for uh, someone to be healed from uh, physical uh, ailments, asking for a new job, um, interceding uh, for a backslider, uh, praising and, and glorifying God, uh, saying uh, grace before meals and and so on uh, a, a calling um, on the Lord uh, the word save in Romans uh, 10 13 uh, does not refer to justification uh, uh, Romans 10 14 makes it clear uh, uh, that calling on the Lord is the act of of a believer, a saved person, and and then C C F dot Luke um, uh, eighteen to seven, and the evidence of the justification, not the means of justification for the unconverted, and then he's got the link. Shall I? I'll just quickly show you there, and then I'll show you the sinner's prayer, what Islam has. So we're just waiting for that to load up. Anyway, you can... Anyway, uh... Anyway, it's a long article, but um, faith saves, not not the prayer, not the asking, and that's what I'm totally against. So we go back, right now we go, and well, I want a, a full screen, right? That's from a Facebook message for, from my Muslim friend uh, last night. Hi guys, um, my Muslim friend here showing me some sort of, it's like a sinner's prayer in Islam. Um, I worship Jesus. Um, and the true Jesus is not a Muslim, that's a lie from S Satan, Islam. Their Allah is really the Satan of the Bible. Um, and it's quite interesting to find out last night that the uh, sinner's prayer for Christians um, first came about in the, around about the uh, uh, 12th century. So, so it's quite interesting that um, 
um, it's quite interesting that Islam has a sinner's prayer. Um, I reject the Christian sinner's prayer. I worship Jesus, the God of the Bible. Islam is false. That's right. And I accept Jesus as my saviour by faith. faith. And uh, I trust in his finished work and I'm trusting in his shed blood. And I'm going to preach the gospel, Paul's gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1, 1 to 4. 4. Um, North Light Church, I love Jesus with all my heart. I want you, you to all know that. It's all about what he did and it's how he died. That's right. He shed his blood and uh, Romans 3.24-28 King to 28 King James, James Version. Version. And it says faith in his blood. And it's all, all about trusting in his whole finished work. Jesus is God's son and Jesus is God in the flesh. flesh. And I worship Jesus. Jesus. I worship Jesus yep. and I'm saved by faith. faith in him and his finished work, in his shed blood. But it's quite interesting that the Quran, the Quran has uh, a sinner's prayer. I'll call that a sinner's prayer. Okay, thank you. Right. That was my video. Now, um, there, now, they'll be at the end of the singing. So the same video, but at two different spots. Um, this Hope for Our Times is a Pastor Tom Hughes's channel. He, he's from the 412 Church in America in California. Okay. Not last Monday, but the Monday before. Amen. Good evening. How many of you believe? How many of you believe in the name of Jesus? Amen. What a great night, Pastor Dennis. And we're I believe in Jesus. He's more worship. than just a name. Amen. What a blessing. Thank you guys for for worshiping and, and participating with us and not just sitting there. But you guys are part of the worship service. And the worship service doesn't take place without the church. That's not Pastor Tom Hughes, but he, he'll start in a that, minute. The ushers are going to make their way forward. And we're going to continue worshiping the Lord. We're going to worship the Lord through the receiving of our tithes and offerings. So if you will, will you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you, we love you, we praise you. We believe that you are coming again soon. We believe that time is short and that our job is to tell people about you and about the hope of you, Father. And we thank you for the opportunity we have to do that. We thank you for the tithes and offerings that will be received. We ask that they would be used in a way that would glorify you and a way that would point people to the hope of Jesus Christ. What a privilege it is to, to do that and to participate in that. So we thank you, Lord. Be glorified here this evening. Be with Pastor Tom. Guide his mind, guide his speech, guide his thoughts as he presents these updates and the things that are going on, Lord. We love you. We praise you. And it's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Everyone said? Amen. Amen. Very good. So last Sunday, you guys were blessed by Pastor Tim Thompson. Amen. A very good message. Um, the problem with Tim Thompson before I'll... Uh, 
which was a, a week before that, right, so, so that was three Mondays ago, he's saying that we're justified by works, and, and if you're sinning, you're a false Christian. No, there's two types of sinners, lost sinners and saved sinners. And and these these people are against the blood of Jesus because they told me so in a reply email. And they're against the uh, gospel. They, they want to uh, uh, work their way to heaven. They repent of your sins, turn to Jesus in prayer, and... and, and, and uh, 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 turn to Jesus in righteous. You, you repent of your sins after you are saved. In any way. Uh, great information in there. And uh, We were up in Santa Barbara, so Pastor Tom was teaching at a prophecy conference in Goleta. Anybody have been up to Goleta, Santa Barbara area? It's beautiful up there. And we were able to fellowship with the church up there. It was great. The worship was awesome. The church was fantastic. And uh, Pastor Tom brought three messages while we were up there. It was really cool. We were able to meet some of our uh, YouTube family, and that was pretty neat. They came down from uh, Lompoc, and they came to the church, and we were able to meet them. So it was really cool. The people that are watching right now are real people. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we don't realize that they're real people. You know, they're they're in the computer, but we were able to meet them, and that was really neat. Of course, and, uh, we were able people. to talk about the upcoming prophecy conference. How many of you guys have heard us talk about the conference that's coming up? And that's in June. How many of you signed up? A few less hands. So we want to invite you to sign up because this is going to be an incredible conference. This is going to be a conference that is going to change lives. This is going to be a conference that is going to point people to the hope of Jesus Christ. Because what else do we have right now? Nothing. Apart from Jesus, we have... If you don't preach the God's witch the 412 church don't, you're not giving people hope. The gospel and the blood, the blood of Jesus, that's what saves. Nothing. So the goal of this conference is to point people to the hope of Jesus Christ and to uh, his soon coming because people need to know that. And, and this conference is for people that believe in Jesus. This conference is for people that don't believe in Jesus because they need hope, right? They watch the news the same as we do. And they don't have the Bible to filter it through like we do. So it can be mighty scary. Can you agree with me on that? So we want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to come out, hear these world-class speakers, so and, and receive the hope Tom of Jesus Hughes. Christ. So if you haven't signed up for it, do so oh, today. Go to HopeForOurTimes.com. And with that... <laughs> Pastor Pastor Tom. <laughs> I'll pause it. Good evening. That's Pastor Tom Hughes, right? Anyway, he does a good. He's very good at Bible, um, Bible prophecy, right? So I'll give, give him that. But he doesn't preach the, the gospel. Now, what we'll do is we go more when he. It's closer to the time when he's. Um, calls p p people up for the sinner's prayer for salvation, but he never gives the gospel and he never preaches the blood. And lift up your hands because your redemption draws near. I want you to know this. This is only six signs out of the over 800 Four. signs of the second coming of Christ. And every one of them appears to be fulfilled exactly exactly as the Bible says. We live in incredible days. Uh, and, and i got to ask you, are you ready? Do you know that you're going to heaven when you yes, die? Yes, because I'm and trusting in man, Jesus get ready in his whole finished and, work. He shed blood. Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to know that you're forgiven, you want to know that you're going to heaven when you die, listen, I'm going to give you that opportunity right now. If you're not sure, I'm going to give you that opportunity right now. You, will you bow your heads with me in a word of prayer? Lord, we thank you for your word. Your word is powerful. Your word is truth. And even your prophetic word proves that Jesus came the first time. And your word tells us there's no other name under heaven by which we can be forgiven. And Lord, I lift up everybody in here to you right now. And if there's anybody in here that doesn't know you, Lord, I ask that you draw them to you. Or if they're not sure. If they 
want to go to heaven. They can see what's going on in the world. It makes sense when you look at the Bible. They want to know that they're going to heaven. Listen, if that's you, you're not sure. No gospel, no Maybe Paul's gospel yes there. Jesus one time, but you really didn't mean it. Now you're thinking, man, I want to mean it. Or maybe you've never said yes to Jesus, but you want to be forgiven. If they want to you, work their way to heaven. Heads bowed and eyes are closed. Go ahead, slip up your hand. I'm going to pray for you tonight before we leave here. God bless you. I see you all the way in the back up here. Hands in the back on the left. Hand there, hand there. I see your so hands all these right people are going to go to the front. Guys. You want to be, I see your hand over there on the right. God bless you. You want to be forgiven. Anybody else? Raise your hand. God bless you. I see your hand up back there, sir. Anybody else? Raise your hand high where I can see it. God bless you. I see your hand. I'm there. totally North Right Church. I'm Father, totally against the sins pray. pray for your ministry to each of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, listen. Hold on a second, all right? This is what Jesus did. He, he did not come to condemn us. John 3, 17 says, but he came to forgive us of our sins. That's right. Um, Preach the gospel. Paul's and when gospel. Jesus called anybody to follow him, he called them publicly and openly. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I want to know that you're going to heaven, but even more so, Jesus wants you there. Jesus also said this in Matthew chapter 10, if you deny me before men, I'll deny you before my Father in heaven. But he said, if you acknowledge me before men, I will acknowledge you. Of course I acknowledge you. I tell people so about saying, I don't want to deny the Lord anymore. Jesus, I and I, I tell him. the true so gospel and the blood of Jesus. So I'm not the denying I saw a lot of hands go to Jesus up. at all. You're saying, I want to say yes to Jesus, but I want to know I'm going to heaven. Then do this. Go ahead and stand up wherever you are. Come on down here and face me, and I'm going to pray for you right now. Come on down. Don't be afraid. Amen. So those pe people at the front, more people c c coming. I don't, don't know how many anyway there, but if they're not trusting in the blood and in the gospel, then they're not saved. Now, listen, the prayer doesn't save. Uh, the enemy doesn't want you to make a See, giving your life to Jesus doesn't listen save. To listen to the Lord. He wants you to say yes to Jesus. He wants you to say yes, yes by yes. trusting the you gospel. Come on down, Trust you the blood. That's what saves. I accept Jesus through faith, not by prayer, not by asking. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, I'm going to pray for you all that came forward. And uh, listen to this. Uh, this prayer, I'm going to lead you in a prayer. It's a prayer of asking Christ to forgive you. It's a prayer of repentance. To repent means to turn uh, the other way. It means to make a U-turn. Turn so from unbelief to belief. Instead of and continuing in self, you are repenting and you are surrendering to the Lord and saying, Lord, I want to live for you. And listen. It's you good you want to live for Jesus, the but you. And not only will he the blood you, saves, the gospel, preach the gospel. And you may be in the flight, you're thinking, man, I can't get anything right. Listen, with Jesus' help, it will be a remarkable thing. Uh, I know because I know how messed up I was and, and where I am now. Sometimes I'm still a little messed up. That's different. But listen, the Lord Jesus Christ wants you to be forgiven. And if you're willing to pray this and you mean when it, you you right you when you trust in the blood, even and believe in the whole finished work. And encourage these folks as we pray this. You ready to pray? Go ahead, pray after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I recognize I'm a sinner. And I ask that you'll forgive me of my sin. Peace of people at the front now. Pat. I repent of my sin. And I surrender to you as Lord. I thank you for forgiving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise no Lord. gospel. Right? No gospel there. No preaching the blood. Right? Before we go to there, a couple of things I want to show you. You, you guys, I'm doing it all in one video. Um, okay. Now, Romans. 
10.14 King James Version because the churches they leave this verse out see how then shall they call uh, on him in whom they have not believed right and how shall they uh, believe in him of who they not heard and how they should without a preacher right they got the preacher he's not he's not preaching the gospel at all nothing about the blood right he didn't say anything about the blood that's why I'm, they're against the blood of Jesus they said so they 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 want to work um we're saved by a uh, faith works and they're not trusting in the gospel. That is a problem. So they're damning those people to hell. Right? And it upsets me. Right? That's more, uh, That's what I want to say, North Rye Church. Now, a lot of people, um, they go to Revelation uh, t uh, 3.20. Now, I'm going to go um, Revelation 3.14 to 22. King James Version, um, and it shows you, right, this is to a church, not personal salvation. Yes, in the church we should include Jesus, not ignore Jesus, right? And and that's what this is all, all, all about, right? So, yes, yes, so, um, in any way... We'll go back here. Um, now we go to Hope for Our Times, the the uh, main page. Their website, um, and the uh, that's the four one two church, another website. So that's more Pastor Tom Hughes. Then links to uh, Pastor Tom Hughes Faith and the four one two church, uh, Facebook. See, so there's d different links. Um, now we'll okay. I'll start again. Maybe this site might be down. No, so I don't know why it didn't work. So anyway, uh, listen to this. Come. Right, we don't need that. Now we, um, okay. No Jesus, but they don't put Paul's gospel, right? Uh, realize that yes, we are a sinner, right? That of course. If you don't realize you're a sinner, you can't be saved, right? Of course, I know that, but they don't put the Paul's gospel, right? No one is good enough for heaven. Uh, see, you repent of your sin once you're saved, and and I I just wanted to say some more things, North Right Church. Um. Uh, you, 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 you repent of your sins once you're saved. You try and live uh, uh, the right way for God to please God, but but you're not doing it to stay saved, uh, and you're not w working your way into heaven because you can't do that because we're a sinner and our works aren't good enough for heaven. Right, but you were uh, you you do good works to uh, for rewards in heaven. So preaching the gospel, um, that well, whatever, like t t telling people about the Lord Jesus and, and pr preach Paul's gospel and the blood. Um, but I'm not doing that for rewards in heaven. I, I I'm doing that because I love Jesus and I want people truly saved. 
AK, thank you, North Ride Church.